Holy hillbilly Harry here. Good gosh, what in God's name have my eyeballs just been forced to read? Disclaimer that we're going to be talking about a kidnapping that took place over 27 years ago. And I just can't believe what I'm reading, boys. I'm going to go into details about the crime, what happened, and uh, how he's suddenly been freed. So, as it's been reported by Colin Rugg, and I've got a few other articles as well that we'll uh, dial into. A man, a gentleman who disappeared 27 years ago when he was 17 years old, has been found alive, okay, not only has he been found alive, he's been found 200 metres away from the family home, in a neighbour's cellar, what the frick? Me personally, if I if I had a missing 17 year old son, or brother, or sister, or girl, whatever it might be, you can bet your bottom dollar that the, you know, the first five miles within radius of my home is being absolutely explored, it's like I'm playing Fallout 4 bro, I'm not even knocking, I'm just opening them doors and bursting in there, with my power armour and minigun attached to me with my big fat man stuck between me butt cheeks just in case things get ugly. Omar bin Omran of Algeria disappeared 27 years ago in 1998 on his way to a vocational school, whatever that means. 61 year old, a 61 year old is in police custody after his brother apparently exposed him on social media over an inheritance dispute. So not only did your family know about it, but they only decided to go to the police once you decided that you wanted some inheritance from your dead relatives. That's the type of people we're dealing with here. Just just let's get that straight. An inheritance dispute caused his brother was the only reason why he felt like coming out to the police. Yeah, look, this guy owes me about three million quid. Also, check his basement. Fucking weirdo. The post tipped off the family of Omar, who then stormed the man's home in search for the son. He was found under haystacks. Omar was held in captivity by a man who lived alone and worked as a civil servant. who was often seen purchasing food for two. Ha! Huh, for two! Why didn't Sherlock Holmes fucking put two and two together? No, I'm joking. That's not... I feel like that's just something someone added just to make the paragraph longer the fucking donkeys the public office received a complaint against an anonymous person claiming that the complainant's brother Omar bin Omran who has been missing for about 30 years is in the house of one of his neighbours inside a sheepfold it's not completely clear why Omar did not call for help for nearly 30 years yeah it's not why didn't he call for help <laughs> So this is him obviously being found. He looks to be hiding, obviously, but he's been filmed on a phone that's being filmed. You know, apologies about the quality. I don't speak Nigerian, so good luck telling me what that means. I mean, 27 years. You just don't know what the freak is going on here. Was he down there for ages? The whole time, you know what I mean? Fed a couple meals and forced down there. I mean, there's a heck of a crowd gathered round for him in there. It's like the president's arrived. Good Lord. There he is. Beard, trimmed hair, so he's clearly been looked after. He's got a nice knitted jumper by the look of it as well, which is, you know, kind of whoever the 60-year-old man had knitted for him. But he just looked, you know, he looked well-groomed considering he's been trapped under haystacks for 27 fucking years. Let's see what comments are saying. They're always good laugh. Well, now this is weird. It just doesn't make sense. Need more details. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, he managed to beat Joseph. Fritzels, the man trapped his daughter in a secret underground goods and he built himself for 24 years. We got a new winner. We got a PB, baby. Another PB for the longest kidnapping. Well done. Get the Guinness World Record guy out here quick, quick, before someone else steals. You piece of shit. It's not a competition who can steal someone for the fucking longest, mate. Can you believe? Oh, yeah, it must be a, it must be a new PB. A human record. What a legend. Get him in the fucking Guinness World Record bucket. Guinness World Record book. I can't even say the world Guinness World Record book. I read that they were lovers and the young man didn't want the family to find out. Uh, I didn't read this anywhere. It's all made up, but I think about it. It kind of, you know, that could be true because, you know, after 30 years, you know, I feel like after 30 years, if you've not managed to escape, you know, especially when it, you were hiding under a hay bale. You know what I mean? You're like, you're hiding under a hay bale. If you can't work out that you just need to apply a bit of force upwards, mate, then, you know, that's on you. That's on you. Is he going to continue living with his abductor? Why would he do that? What a dumb thing to put. Hold Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, boys. <laughs> Well, yeah, I hope the victim's okay. Um, obviously, that's not something you ever want to put on anyone, being kidnapped for 27 years. But look, here's, here's the video again. We'll mute it so we can speak. He's, he's clearly, you know, he doesn't look to be in restraints. He's not cuffed by the look of things. He manages to stand up. He looks a bit confused. My biggest complaint is, uh, or question, should I say, how do you live some down there for 27 years, okay? Yeah, but how can you live 200 metres away, bro? 200 metres, mate, is like not a long way. You know what I mean? If your family haven't found you. And then he must have been kidnapped, though, because no way he didn't go outside ever. You know? 
Not a chance, mate. There's not a fucking chance. You know, if he went for a walk, if he had to go for a quick, you know, I don't know, walk the dog, I don't know, wanted a bit of vitamin D from the... I don't know, if he wanted to go to the Superbad. Do you not think someone would have been like, you know, that fucking kid from 27 years ago went missing? Oh, OK, so let's carry on. You know what I mean? So he's one of nine children and he disappeared in Algeria. We already said that. His family assumed he was killed during the Civil War. OK, so they probably weren't looking for him, to be fair. If they thought he was dead, I mean, you know, how, you know, fair dudes, like from A to B, you can't really tell. He was rescued a few days ago, so that you know he's been found. I just can't get over this 200 meters away from his own family. Like that's just. So he basically had a sheep pen within the home of his alleged captor. And when I seen he was kidnapped, pictured, yeah, you see, he was hiding down there. He looks like a nice little kid. And unfortunately, he's had his life ruined by this fucking disgusting degenerate pig scumbag. Or did they do it on purpose? That's a that's a that's a theory. You ever think on that? He seemed in shock at the search party surrounding him. It was alleged in the report that the captor poisoned the dog to ward off the family. Jesus. The search went over 98 after he went missing while on his way to now age 45. He was found a haste. 45. Imagine going missing at 17. Now you're 45. You know, you'd never seen an iPhone before. And now everyone's got them. You know, you didn't even have a pair of fucking sunglasses. And now people are wearing VR goggles. Like, the world's a crazy place 45 years later. His mother, unfortunately, died in 2013 without ever knowing the truth, which is sad. And obviously the cousins of the close family have come uh, out and said yeah I know this fella he is uh, yeah me, me cousin so he's obviously gone for medical and psychological treatment see what's going on up there see if he's you know all there or not so he's apparently he lived alone in Algeria said he was regularly seen buying food for two people which you know how do you so oh, look at that guy he's always in here on his fucking own and he keeps buying two steaks what's, what's he fucking doing you know what I mean like that just doesn't seem it imagine that there was probably his best mate and the other guy just wanted to fucking leave the haystack like just sad in it his poor mum died while he was in captivity about knowing what happened to him without knowing all this he was right beside her horrible I mean in a way she's probably glad she's not here to find out that she was he was 200 metres down the fucking road from him I mean you'd just be heartbroken wouldn't you it's like finding out Madeleine McCann was still in the hotel you know what I mean like you'd just be like what the fuck how's she still here it's fucking 20 fucking 5 years later and she's still in the hotel was kidnapped Matt in Mayers California and remained missing for over 18 years see they're just talking about this like oh it's not quite beating the Guinness World Record of the longest kidnapping in the world <laughs> See, now this one's saying 100 metres. They can't pick a fucking side, mate. What What do they even know? They know nothing. But I'm very glad this gentleman's been found uh, alive. It's um, a miracle, really. Uh, I can't wait for more information to come out uh, regarding him, what sort of medical and health situation he's in. Is he malnourished? He looked like he was well-fed anyway. Were these people sort of friends, or was he, like, forced to stay there? You know, when someone says kidnapped, it's usually, uh, you know, not by choice, is my definition. And he doesn't look too, um, like, sad. You know, I feel like after 27 years, I'd probably start burst out crying if I got saved. You know what I mean? I'd be like, holy fuck, you guys took your time, didn't you? Jesus. Anyway, I know made a few jokes here it's just to lighten the mood it's quite a miserable story isn't it imagine meeting you know living in a haystack for 27 years but you know he looks in remarkable shape he doesn't look like he's been beaten tortured you know who knows um something like that i'm sure there's a bit more information to the story uh you know that person had a theory that maybe he was gay and that his family would have you know thrown him off a roof or killed him if they found out and he went and lived here I, the problem with that theory is obviously if that was the case why would you live 100 meters away from them you know africa is a big place mate you could you could live anywhere you know why why you stay so close and i don't know to say then kidnapped maybe he just accepted it and he was looked after and he just wanted i don't know again it's it's many many theories was this potentially a a some sort of not not fake kidnap but you know what i mean like they 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 knew each other and they decided they want to live to eat with each other and you know it just seems a bit weird why why is he hiding under haystack you know what i mean i feel like you'd be chained to a post if you weren't you know allowed to be free roaming and shit like that and he, again like i said he doesn't look too concerned that he's been found thank god he has been found i'd love to have a conversation with this fella see what he's been doing in 27 years what has he done does he know what the internet is uh does he know what a kiwi fruit is you know there's lots of questions i'd love to ask the man but anyway guys uh, I just wanted to comment on that. I love these. I can't wait for the Netflix documentary to come out next year. I'm sure that they'll milk that into a six-parter limited series or something like that. But yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic story in terms of he's been found. It's a story that almost leaves more questions than answers. Why was he there? What you know? Why hasn't he managed to escape? Considering he you know he doesn't look like he's been exactly treated like a piece of shit. You know what I mean? He, he like I said, his hair, his beard, whatever, what have you, doesn't look beaten in this picture. Maybe he was. Maybe he was severely tortured mentally 
mentally, physically, emotionally, and he had no choice but to stay because he felt he couldn't get away. A bit like Jesse Pinkman in El Camino and Breaking Bad, obviously, you know, he has that opportunity to leave and just calm, you know, puts the gun down because he's been that manipulated, that heavily controlled. Who knows? It's a sad state of affairs if that is true. I'm just glad that, um, you know, this, the idiot who was the brother of the person who kidnapped him had an inheritance problem. And he's like, you know what, mate? Actually, after 27 years, I, I've decided this is no good. You know what I mean? Give me the money or I'm reporting you. I'm not giving you the money. Well, I'm reporting you. You know what I mean? Like, that's ridiculous. It sums up the scumbaggery of human beings. Not giving me the money? Okay, well, I'll snitch on you after 27 years about this person you've had hiding in your fucking basement the whole time. <laughs> God damn, that's the worst part, isn't it? Like, 100 metres from the house and it had to take an inheritance dispute in order to be found out and realise that this person was actually a kidnapped and didn't want to be there. Crazy. Anyway, guys, let me know your theories. Anything you want to let, let me know? Did I you know, miss out a key detail? Probably did. Let me know down below, guys. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, we will see you in the next murder mystery. This one actually a murder. This was a kidnapping. We will see you in the next mystery.